but it's a bit of a different sort of a day today. We've just dropped Izzy off with my dad about half an hour ago, I think. Uh, we've been on the road about an hour and 40 minutes and we're off to a wedding in St. David's. We're heading through Carmarthen. All was going pretty well until about three minutes ago when the car developed a bit of a dodgy wobble. <laughs> His phone's ringing. Okay, the wheels have been subjected to the wobble test and apparently they're okay. I've just noticed it's a hole in my tights. Another crisis, it's starting to rain. It's not really a crisis, that's just normal. Right, so the time has come for some in-car fixing. My loving boyfriend has got out of his boot a sewing kit. I'm going to have a go. Ta-da! Here is said emergency sewing kit. Right, I've never done this A whilst wearing it, and B in a car whilst moving, but hey, you know, first time for everything. Just break that somewhere outside. Okay, that bit's kind of hanging, but you know, nobody's going to notice, are they? We're apparently on the outskirts of Haverford West, and I just spotted a ruin up there. I'm just wondering if it will come into view. Oh, well, there's an interesting statue there, look. Still raining. Well, look where we've come to. Is the sea there? I think we might be here. Looks pretty crowded in this car park. So we're coming to St. David's Cathedral. So we just finished the service now. I just wanted to show you the altar and also the 700, 700 year old ceiling. Just come outside, it's all finished now. It is raining, of course. Look, that's where we were. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh yeah, what's up here then? Oh, that's a bit on the steep side. Really tight, spirally staircase. Tiny little steps. Look, I've only got size five feet and half hanging off. Look, there's St. David's Cathedral there. And this is the Bishop's Palace in the rain. I'm going to put my camera away now. We just made a slight faux pas and dropped the wedding program out of the pocket through one of those little narrow slitty windows really high up and it fluttered down and on the grass. But he's just getting it. And I've come into this cavern y thing. Got it? <laughs> okay, it has been retrieved. We're in the Great Hall now, which looks like this. In reality. Found the toilet. I think the birds have been using it as a toilet these days. More teeny tiny teeny steps. toilet it wasn't at that tower after all oh it's blocked off I can't use it oh, a bit uncomfortable if I'm honest yes mm, I think I prefer the modern ones 
Right, so we're going to go and have some cake and a cup of tea. That's what that uh, great hall would have looked like. Just having a bit of fizzy elderflower. <sighs> Got myself some tea now. So this is where we are at the moment. St. David's, that represents the cathedral, that bit. And the sticky out bit at the bottom of Wales, look. Well, that is one very mossy, planty ceiling. There's even ferns growing out of it. Look at that. <laughs> I might have got slightly overexcited with the cake. Admittedly, I am struggling with the last bits. I'm eating cake in a dungeon, it's very novel. So we've done that bit now and we're just going to go and find the hotel. I've been getting more and more suspicious that we're actually going completely the wrong way here. This just looks like it's going to the arse end of nowhere. Ooh. The Druid Stone. So here we are in our hotel room, very unusual hotel room. This little annex here is completely disconnected from the rest of the hotel and it's known as the Roundhouse and it's completely powered by wind turbine and sunlight, which is quite cool. Have a look round. There's a bed here, bed there, chest of drawers, look at this view, that is the sea down there. I don't know if you can make that out. As you can see, it's bowing down with rain and very windy. We can hear the wind whistling out there. Down here, we've got a little kitchen. A little, a big sink. Um, a stove, which is run by a cylinder. There's a fridge there, work surface. And there's the bathroom. I shall show you that in a minute. The bath is the most amazing bath I've ever seen. I'll show you that in a minute. Really forgot, little wood stove there. Look, some logs there. Actually, I can feel heat in there. There must be some residual heat from the last people that had it, I think. Right, the bathroom. So, the window seats here, sink, and look at this bath. It, it, I mean, it's never going to fill up. It's been running for about five minutes already. I think, uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe we won't have a full one. <laughs> now, apparently, to get the water hot, you need to actually light the fire and have that going for a bit, and then the pump Pumps it around. So it's about quarter past five now and we're going off to the wedding dinner. So I'm going to end the vlog there for today and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to vlog tomorrow and we'll have a little walk along the cliff. Okay, so don't forget to give a like if you liked it and subscribe if you want to and if you haven't already. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!